question. My part is on identifying and addressing estate planning issues for the T and Q of the LGBTQ community. And I know a number of people may be asking, why are we looking at a minority of a minority? And in addition to what Chris said, this is a very complex, uh, very complex issue. Um, Recent studies have indicated that there are more than one million transgender persons in the United States. And as we all know, uh, that's a vulnerable community. And when you're coming out, you're kind of reticent about doing so. So I think that number is actually low. And that is just the transgender community. That doesn't even include queer persons. So again, the number one million is low but that number is still big. One million people is a lot of people, and we need to be concerned and uh, address those issues. Um, the other reason why it's important is because transgender and queer rights involve the second cornerstone of the marriage equality movement. The first, of course, being relationship rights, the second cornerstone being gender rights. And so we have to embrace this knowledge and use this knowledge in representing our clients.